there, I'm Maureen Myers, the Director of Art and Design Programming for Blue Moon Rising. We're here today in Oakland, Maryland at the Gallery Shop, a project of the Garrett County Arts Council. We're going to see some of Josh Gambetta's paintings, one of our featured artists at Blue Moon Rising. Let's go check it out. So I've always, always drawn and painted and done art all my life. Um, even when I was real young, when I was in kindergarten, I had my teacher actually talked to my, my mother about the fact that I drew too much in class. And so it's, it's always been like a passion of mine. And I quit doing it for about 10 years when I got out of high school. And when I started back up in college, I um, took a couple classes. Printmaking and ceramics, really enjoyed them. But it wasn't until I started going for my bachelor's degree that I took a drawing class and was like, man, I love this stuff, man. I really just got to go for, for this as a, as a career and as, a, as my, de my degree focus. Well, uh, media, pretty much anything liquidy. Uh, you know, I like doing watercolors, acrylic paints. Um, my whole process is basically I, uh, chaos. I, I pretty, am pretty chaotic in my whole process. You know, I kind of just attack it and have fun. Really, the main key point is uh, a lot of movement and a lot of energy and have a good time doing it. I mean, if I'm not having a good time doing it, pieces come out kind of still, like they don't have any life or vibrancy in them. So just try to have fun with it. So pretty much, normally what I do when, I, when I'm doing these watercolor abstract kind of pieces is I do ones like these where I'm using kind of contra, um, contrasting colors um, to try to make them pop out. But after doing this piece right here, I realized that I could actually get some really interesting kinds of um, dynamics happening if I use very similar colors. And so based on this piece, I did these two right here um, to try to see if I can really get the same kind of flow going on, the same kind of energy and vibrancy, but using a very similar color palette. Um, when I do a wash of the watercolors, I know that the saturation and pigments are not going to be just like a uniform, even kind of wash on it. So, um, you know, there's like lights and darks and, and saturations in different areas. So, um, being that way, I figured, oh, that would be really fun to do because, so with one, one wash, I get all these different colors going on, and then I put a resist on to get all the, all the, the flow going on, and then I, uh, once all that's dry, I put it in my shower and just wash off all those spaces in between where the resist was, and then put on another wash. And so it puddles in different ways, and you get a really neat effect with that. where do I find inspiration? You know, pretty much, it's all in, in uh, it's all in my physicality, really. I mean, when I'm doing, working on, on art, I, um, it's all based, you know, I don't really draw from the real world, per se, for my pieces. I mean, they're all very non-representational, most of them. Um, but what I really am drawing from is more like a physical experience of the piece. So it's a lot of movement, a lot of energy, kind of, be able to, to uh, create the piece. And that's really where I think a lot of the inspiration comes from. Um, and I have a feeling that there might be a lot of like deep sea psychological things in there as well that I'm still trying to explore a little bit. But uh, definitely like the physicality is a big, a big issue with it. Josh's show runs through the end of April here at the gallery shop in Oakland. We'll be collaborating a lot with Josh throughout the summer, so check back at bloomingrising.org for updates.